everybody, it's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and my gosh, we are in our countdown to Christmas. Is that not crazy? I don't know about you guys, but um, I am not ready, so I still have shopping to do. I think I'm the worst about like my, my local places I need to go. I keep thinking, oh, I'll stop there on the, my way home, and then I just, you know, running behind, don't get there. Oh, I'll stop there before work, and then running late, don't get there. So I've got tons of places locally that I need to go, but I think most of my online stuff that I have to get mainly for the boys, they're so hard to buy for. Um, I think most of that is on the way. Um, Kyan's got one package that's been lost. That's great. Um, and so they're resetting that, but other than that, um, we are in that, that downward spile now. I need to get my stuff all wrapped. Um, I'm not one that bakes or makes candies or anything, thank goodness, because those wouldn't be done either. So, I don't know about you guys, but hopefully, you know, you are doing pretty good as far as all that stuff goes. But, anyway, um, if you saw earlier, I did a reel, and then I posted pictures of tons of stuff for our after Christmas sale. So, yeah, I was just like, why wait till after Christmas? I'm going to put it on sale anyway. Some of you may be able to use it before Christmas. Um, so that's a bonus. It's a win-win for both of us. I'm getting rid of some stuff that I don't want to carry over to next year. I'm going to put it for sale in, you know, just a couple days. So might as well give it to you guys now. So anyway, hopefully you, you'll see that post. Or if you didn't, check it out after this live. You know, snag some good deals. And there will be more to come. That was just what I had time for today. So anyway, let's check out what's going on. So we got in um, lots of orders. We got in Scorp House. I'm going to show you adhesive. We got in Elizabeth Crafts. I'm going to show you stamps and dies. And we got an Impression Obsession, so more dies than stamps. And Simple Stories. So lots. We got four good orders here to well, get four good orders to show you guys. I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to get started. Okay, so first up, we are going to look at Score Pal. So Score Pal is who does score tape. And that is some of the strongest stuff out there. I really do. I love score tape. And, you know, sometimes we'll run out. And there's other brands that, you know, are very comparable. And they are good, too. But score pal is just a, a good one that um, when I'm placed in an order, I definitely stock up with them. So sizes we've got in. Eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch is a super skinny one. This is nice for ribbon because it is so small. It's also great for a lot of interactive cards especially um, lawn fawn ones, need eighth of an inch score tape. So that is back in stock because we were completely, I mean, we were out of like all of these. It was, it was bad. I definitely needed this order for sure. Quarter inch. This is kind of my go-to for mini bookmaking. It works great just in that spine at a quarter of an inch. That's what most of your margins or your spines, your gutter space, whatever you're going to call it. That's what most of that is going to be. So we got quarter of an inch there. Now, Let's talk a little bit about this tape as we're going through these. This stuff is great because you don't even have to cut it. It tears so nicely. And I want you to look here. It's also heat resistant. So if you're doing something and you need to heat it, it works great. So that means, yes, friends, you can even heat emboss this, this stuff. So if you wanted to make some really cool, like, stripes with your embossing powder, you can do that with your score tape. That is a really, really fun effect. I've done that before. We did it in some classes, and everybody really loved it. It was kind of like one of those mind-blowing, I never thought to put embossing powder on there. Yes, you can. And then, you know, think backwards with that, too. So if, you know, embossing powder that has to be heated, well, what about my foils that I don't even have to heat? Yes, you can put your foils on here, too. So lots of fun stuff. Your glitter. Glitter, you know, just kind of be careful with it so it doesn't, um, you know, you almost want to burnish it to really get it in to the sticky, but there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with your score tape. All right, so we've got the three eighths of an inch, half of an inch, one inch, two inch, and a big old roll of two and a half inch as well. Now, other things we get from them, we get in adhesive sheets. So our adhesive sheets have been restocked, and so are our score pals. So let me show you what a score pal is. Score pals. This 
this is one of their newest items, and it's not like crazy new anymore. I think they've been out for maybe like a, a year or two now, but these are wonderful because you can take all of your rolls of adhesive and just stack them right on there. And then you can just pull off whichever one you need, tear it off, cut it off, whatever you want to do, and you are done. So it is a great way, you kind of see there on the side, it is a great way to store all of these different size rolls. And there's even a little space in the top up here for you to put like pins, scissors, something like that. Okay, so there is order number one with score tape. Let's bounce down here. Um, oh, Elizabeth Crafts is kind of separated, so we're going to look at that here. We got this one here is one of the exclusives, so I, I had to bust apart one of my class kits, and I did that um, to get someone a certain color sidekick, and so now I've got this stamp set that was only available in one of the class kits. I also have this sidekick die that was only available in one of the class kits. And then I also got this one here called Christmas Lives Here. This one was not exclusive. These two were exclusives, but not this one. So this one is just a good Christmas paper pad. Let's see if we can open it up. Well, maybe not. All right, let's just flip it this way. Here we go. So bonus paper on the back. I'm just gonna flip through these quickly here. Oh, that's cool. So as you can see, it's a good one. This is what they used in the Annette Green class. For her December Days album that she did. If you missed that and you still want a kit, like I said, I just busted apart one of my last ones, but I know I can still order kits on the side with a sand sidekick. I think that's the only color that they have left. All right, let's go into simple stories now. All right, so simple stories, we got in um, two and a half lines. Let's put it that way, because I didn't get everything for the one line in yet. But this one here is called Simple Vintage Winter Woods, and it is so pretty. So check out these colors. So you've got these muted, really vintage colors. There's a little pop of um, almost like a mossy sage green very very kind of lightish tealish green um, some of their colors are uh, that use it was oatmeal and gray warm white charcoal white those were the colors in their line that matched this and then they do have a solid pack so if you are getting this line I do suggest the solids because these colors here were really hard for me to match with cardstock in the store I'm um, really hard and their snap colors just aren't quite perfect. So if you love this line, I definitely would pick up the solids with this one. So, all right, we've got the solids pack. We have the banner stickers that you see here. We've got the washi tape. The six by eight pad. Now, um, in a day or two, you are also going to see some class kits using these new lines and the winter woods one we're going to have a page um a page kit for you guys it's actually two two page layouts two, two yeah two page layouts so four total pages so this is the six by eight pad remember the six by eight pad is a little bit different than the collection kit same prints but then they also add in pages like this okay we've got the sticker pack little sticker book here this is perfect for cards tags your scrapbooks 
but also if you are one that likes to plan out your planner or add little funds to your fun things to your planner or your calendars this is a cute one for that we also have we'll come back well i'll show you this one here but we're going to look at everything that's in it separately so this one is the collector's essential kit so you're going to get a collection kit in here you're also going to get um, the cardstock stickers that's what always comes in a collection kit anyway you're going to get the page pieces so let's look at those i've got those separate as well here are the page pieces I'll flip it over so you can see what you get in there you get a fun little bingo card um, a couple little titles some little die cuts and a label here they are as an example already on a page so you're going to get your page pieces you're going to get the chipboard stickers which are right here so pretty course we have these separate as well and the page pieces separate and then the woodland bits and pieces which is I think that's, uh, right here here we go I got those separate too so here's your woodland bits and pieces so so pretty so that's what comes in the collector's essential kit then we also just have your regular collector's kit. And then we also have all of this open stock. So I'm gonna open up one of these and just know if you love it, get the collector's kit. But if there's ones that you know you want more than one of, let us know and then we'll pull those off the shelf because we do have all these individually as well too. Okay, so starting, there's your first one. It's called Snow Day. Just a good kind of basic, little bit of texture solid on the back. All that glistens. And there's the back, oh, that's really pretty. This one here, I definitely would probably get another one of this one because the Snuggle Up has a good vintage kind of distressed plaid on the back. You're gonna want more of that one, you know you are. Frosty Friends. Very pretty. Oh, that's got a good wood grain on the back. That might be another one to get another piece of because that would be a really pretty background page too. Winter Woods. And there's the back. Coco Time. Ooh, that back is good. Yeah, that's a good almost like, you know, for your background page. Winter Blues. Good stripe with a good dot. Little chilly. Here's the back. Here's your journal elements. There's the back. Three by four elements. Want to stick together? Come on. Struggle bus. Ooh, that's a good back too. That one might be a, a two page or two. Here's the four by four elements and in the back. Oh, that's cool with the little antlers. I like that. And then the four by six elements, good dot on the back. And last but not least, the sticker sheet. So there's your sticker sheet. Other things that came in for the line, we've got the foam stickers here, front and back on those. We've got the chipboard clusters. These are a little bit bigger, give you a little more texture and dimension than what the, just the chipboard stickers do. Here's the brads. Layered stickers. Chipboard frames. Here's just the regular bits and pieces. We do have journal ones too. The journal ones sold out already because I had everything back here and it's been it's been online for a couple days. So those have sold out already, but we do have those coming back in. And then last but not least, this is the winter snow stencil. So that is the simple vintage winter woods. Now we're gonna like totally change gears. And this line is so bright and so fun. So they did one, two, three new pet lines. So we've got a dog line, a cat line, and then just general pets. So we're going to start out with the cat line first. So here is one side, so cute, one side of the cat foam stickers. And then there's the other one. 
Here's the pet shop. Cat Brad's. Here's the cat stencil. Is that not too cute? It's called Fish Bones. Here's the page pieces. A real nice, big, perfect. And then you've also got a little um, journal. It looks like a pet tag. Little paw prints. You've got food and toys. You've got the little climbing tree. And then a little example of what you can do with all those to put them together. Here's the bits and pieces for cats. Okay. And then here is the collection kit. Let's check out the papers you're going to get in that one. All right. Is that so bright and so fun? This one here is called Nice Kitty. Life is perfect. Little cat nap. Catitude. Ooh, that's just a good one. I like that one. Elements one. So it's got three by fours, four by sixes, four by fours, two by twos. It's got all your different sizes all on one sheet there. It's a fun print on the back. You could even use that if you um, have like, you know, pictures of like a knitter or a crochet or do cards for them. If you don't use it for your, for your cat book. And then here is elements two. You want the cat line, Miss Debbie? You got it. Now, Debbie, do you want like everything you saw or just a collection kit? So what I've got is I've got foam stickers, the die cuts, page pieces, brands and stencil so let me know which one of those you want and we'll get all that gathered up and shipped out for you thank you everything you got it my friend all right next up we've got the dog line so to go with the dog line love that who's a good boy love good dog Ooh, these cute little dogs are puppy love really cute i like there's a big dog on there finally it's usually always these cute little dogs, not big dogs. So I love the big dogs are on there. Here is the cat washi tape. I missed that. I had somebody in this morning and they were looking at this back here and they couldn't find the cat washi tape. So I thought maybe it hadn't come in. So that's why I just assumed this was dog. So I'm going to put that in Miss Debbie's pile there. Here are the dog page pieces. Or not page pieces, sorry, bits and pieces. Aren't they so cute? cute? Love it. And again, I love that there's big dogs on these. Then we've got another one that says Pawsome. This is your page pieces. So kind of similar to the cats. You've got the same little paw prints. You've got the tag for a journaling spot. You've got some fun little toys, some little hearts. And then again, a little sample page up there. The stencil for dogs is Bones, and it's called Bones. The Brad's here. Very cute. And let's check out the collection kit. And then here's the next one. Like I said, it's kind of just general pets. It's everything from turtles to, like, hamsters. I mean, it's awesome. So all those little forgotten pets in the pet lines, nope. Got you covered this time. Lizards. All right, puppy love. Perfect pooch. Belly rubs. So a lot of these are very similar to the cat pages, just in dog designs. Bad to the bone. Elements one. Happiness starts with a wet nose and ends with a tail. Oh, isn't that cute? Beware of one adorable dog. Again, you are going to have a, a mini book with this line. It is a dog line. Or it's a dog mini book. But I am thinking, I bet, because the dog line and the cat line are so similar. So when we release the dog mini book, if you're a cat mom or cat dad and you're like, no, I want to do it in, in cats, message me. 
because as long as you're good with the same instructions, but you can substitute on your own, we can do all the same uh, products. It would just be in the cat theme, if that makes sense. So then you can still do that cute little mini book because it's adorable. All right, and then next we got your washi tape right here. With the little wolf wolves on the bottom. All right, pet shop. This is just a regular pet shop. So we've got a sticker book. So again, this is going to kind of cover the gamut on all your different pets. Show you the little individual pages here. See, like there's your little hamsters in there, little terrariums, your lizards, your bunnies, hedgehogs. So, so fun. Sit, stay, come, possum, good dog, back to the bone, walk, fetch, love my dog. Our little fur ball, lazy days, nice kitty. So lots of good ones there. Now for the just general stuff with all the other forgotten pets. Here is your washi tape. I love the turtles on there. There's little bunny rabbits on there I'm seeing. Little lizards, frogs. So there's your washi. Your bits and pieces. So look, you've got totally cool. There's a little hamster there, little paw prints. Some bunny loves you. What a ham. There's a little, it's a little gerbil, maybe a guinea pig. I'm not for sure. There's a little lizard, fish, iguana, turtle, birds, snakes. Like I told you, everyone, like lots of those little forgotten pets are, are on here now. Here are your brads. So cute. <laughs> Our little pipsqueak. That's adorable. Here are the page pieces. So this one says, love my pet. Or my, my pet. And then there's a heart in there. Best friend. World's best pet. So much love. And that way you can just pretty much document any pet with that one. Here are enamels that match everything. So Debbie, if you're still watching, I don't know if you want the enamels or not, but they match all the lines. So let me know. I'm going to throw it in your pile for now. If you don't want it, let me know. And then the papers for the pet shop one. Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Let's start with the sticker sheet first. I'm going to flip it that way. So fun. Like, I love this one. There's a turtle, little guinea pig, the little mouse, your little birds, the world's most loved pet. Oh, little, you know, little um, snacks and treats. And you've got apples and carrots. So there's your sticker sheet. And then this one is Elements 2. Elements 1. Let me get the flip. Maybe. There we go. Some of these are just really good prints. Oh, look at this one with all the different tracks on it. I love that. That's so stinking cute. This one here is called Keeping It Wild. This one's called My Pal. All right, and then that's your line for just the regular pet shop. And you can see this cute little idea page they have on there with him holding his little hamster. Adorable. All right, next up is um, a little bit of the Valentine's Day that's come in. And we've already pulled some of it because we are going to have a cards kit with this line. So we've got the 6x8 pad here. We've got, it's called Heart Eyes. We've got the... Little page pieces, and we've got sticker sheets so far in. I got everything to do my class kits, um, and I think that shipped out first. So if you are loving this heart eyes, you let me know if you'd like the rest of the line as well, and we'll get that held for you as soon as it gets here. But here's your six by eight pads.
just repeats. So there's heart eyes. Other things we got back in stock, we ran out of our stamp pressure tools that Mr. Steve Clayton makes for us. So we got those back in stock. So just in time, perfect stocking stuffers or a little gift if you've got a crafty friend that you guys exchange gifts each year. Impression Obsession. So next order up. So we did, um, so we're on order number four now because Steve's, I've, I've got a lot of those back in stock. So we're order number four now. Whew. So Impression Obsession, we got in some new dies. Flip that over so you can see the size. This one here says Happy Graduation. Kind of thinking of the next few holidays we got coming up. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. These are hard to find. Anything St. Patrick's Day is really hard. This is always a very popular one. It says, love you to the moon and back. Flip it over so you can see the size of that. So that's really good for a card and even in your scrapbooks. And then the reason for the order was to get in the limited edition stamp set. So we sold out of November already. So I was able to still order November this month. So I got back in stock November, which is the little vintage snowman. And then the new one for December. So if you special ordered this, we've got yours held. You've been contacted. Some of them are already gone back in the mail or out in the mail. Debbie, I've got it. Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. You got it, my friend. And then here's December. So December is a really pretty kind of vintagey winter scene. And you can see the size of those. And again, with these, you get little idea sheets in there as well. There's a little closer look for you. All right, I'm pulling Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day down for you, Debbie. Down to that end down there. Okay. Then Elizabeth Crafts was my next order that came in. So some of these were just restocks and some of them are brand new. Like this one I know we've had in, but it's been a while. So this is all kinds of great little background dies for your slimline cards. But of course, friends, as you know, you can make these A2 as well or A6 or A7. That's what's so nice about slimlines like this. You can always cut them down. So it's like, you know, more bang for your buck. You've got a nice grass border. You've got a nice fence. This could be clouds or even shrubs and then a little hillside. And we've got little dots and little flowers here. These are the insides of your flowers right there. So you can see how they're kind of in the shrubs. All right, and then that one there is called Adventure Slimline Adventure Edges. Next up, we've got Winter Scenery. So it's another slimline one, but of course, all these individual ones, you can do whatever you want with those. So we've got a good little slimline decoration or little background here. And you've got trees, fox, and some rabbits and a deer here. Or it's a moose, sorry, it's a moose. I couldn't see it. I forgot what it was. A moose. All right. This little guy here is going to fit into the new Sidekicks. This is the Sidekick Pocket Page Fillers number two. And the Sidekick Pocket Pages Fillers number one. And then yes, we did get in the new Sidekicks. So you could do these as a planner, as a journal, or as a little mini album. But the best part is they're 20 bucks. They are so inexpensive, which is crazy. They also came out with a bigger one. It's an A5. And it's a blank canvas. So you, and I've seen people online decorating those so beautifully. All right, so I'm going to pop this guy open for you. This is one of the sidekicks. This is the navy one. We've also got it in vintage black. So you've got kind of a nice little leather front here. A little belly band that goes around it. And then there's the inside. It's a really pretty kind of tealy vintage blue there. And like I said, so the A5 is going to be very similar, but it's got a nice blank canvas front to it and a little bit bigger as well. Kind of see the size there. And then we've got vintage black.
So this, the sidekick is what everybody used. I was talking about um, how Annette Green taught that class, her December, December Days class. And they introduced these little pocket pages in there. And everyone loved them so much so that they decided to start um, selling them. And so these are brand new for Elizabeth Crafts. And these are going to fit into the sidekick. See, there they are on the back. They're going to fit right in there, like so. All right, so there's that. And then these are our restocks. So we restocked her double-sided adhesive sheets. So we got packs of those back in. This is a restock on um, the stamp set that matches the dies I'm getting ready to show you. This is called Holiday Treats. So just baking memories, tis the season, holiday treats, merry everything, sweet as hot chocolate, feel the holiday warmth, uh, let's bake Christmas cookies, cozy winter vibes, and then what we restocked from that release was the cozy fireplace. It's beautiful. Yep. Thing. Okay. Yep. I, I use it to buy toys. Oh, okay. Yep. That's what I did. I use it right here. These bags are too. Yep. There we go. We've got nested tags here. There we are. Warm winter mug. Two nice size mugs, and then um, I will. I have even seen people posting these with um, like little hot chocolates in them. So stinking cute! So that's a nice size set. Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus. So, whew, all right. I think that's it so that kind of gets us caught up from what kind of came in i think like um thursday friday um and then over the weekend getting it all caught up checked in and then as you know mondays i am not here um it's my catch up in the office day so i, I work from home and it's not it's not real fun yet um I, I kept thinking oh i'm gonna do samples and things like that but end of the year i should have known better all my taxes and stuff so it is good because at least I've been getting some of that stuff done. But it's, it hasn't been my crafty time like I thought it was going to be. So um, hopefully in January and I'll get a little bit better. But as you guys have probably noticed, you know, um, there's been emails coming out and more marketing stuff. So I am working on that too, which is very important. So, all right, everybody, I think, I think that gets everything. Now, I am going to give you some teasers, not really teasers, they're posted, um, just some of the stuff that's left from all the pictures that I posted on Facebook. So all kinds of great stuff. So you've got stamps and dies that we that we posted earlier today. So make sure you check out that post. There was like 40 some different pictures in there that I posted. Like here's a little bundle. You get all kinds of fun stuff in this bundle. Stamps and dies. So make sure you check that out. Comment on anything that you may want in that post, and then we can always get it pulled with your other stuff. Like you get both of these for 32. This one here is normally 25 all by itself. So basically, you're getting the die set for seven bucks. This one here, this is one of my favorite ones. You see, he's so stinking cute. Six bucks for this stamp. This one here, seven bucks for that stamp. Uh, stamp and die combo, both of those for 24. So all kinds of great little deals. And I think if, like if you can't find it, it should be just right below this one. Uh, but I think I posted that right around noon. So if you need like a time to look for, I think this got posted right around noon. This layering die set, all of those for eight bucks. Happy holidays from Sparkle and Two. 
all of those for just eight bucks. So lots of great stuff going on in our before Christmas, after Christmas sale. So, all right, everybody. Well, again, I'm Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Thanks for popping in here with me today and checking out what's new for those that ordered. Thank you so much. If you missed the live, no worries. You can always keep commenting whenever you, you know, watch the replay, anything that you want. We usually don't pull until the following day anyway. And even if you don't see this until four or five days later, we keep checking them to see who has um, commented later on. So, again, everybody, thank you so much. And um, have a very Merry Christmas. Bye now.